Hello YouTube, this is just a quick update video on the SEAL software update 13.1.33.2403 that was recently made available in some countries around the world. Um, this file was uploaded to Telegram and courtesy of Anomaly, sorry, Telegram user Anomaly256 for bringing this to my attention. Um, I have now made it available on my iCloud drive and uh, BYD SEAL owners can now install it to their car. Um, I've made this video just to discuss a few important changes that this brings and some common questions that I've, uh, I've, I've seen in the past few days and just to address those all in one video. Okay, so we'll start off with the software update. So it's 13.33.2304, sorry, 2403.010.1. There's a few more numbers behind it, but that's not too important. Um, most notable upgrades are this update includes wireless CarPlay, so now you can connect your iPhone to the car wirelessly without a cable. This is a native function now, you don't need any any more of those wireless CarPlay adapters anymore, which is good for people that want to use CarPlay. I personally don't, so it's not too important for me. Um, there has been reported a reduced warning sound when you're going over the speed limit, so as you know, if the traffic sign recognition reads 60 kilometers per hour and then you go 62, the bings and bongs can be quite annoying. Apparently the, the loudness of that alert has been reduced, which is good. And the third most important thing is probably vehicle tracking via the BYD app. Um, this, once you update your BYD seal to this version, your BYD app will have a new option in the app, so you, you don't have to do anything else, it'll appear automatically, and then it'll show the location of your car. I assume your car needs to have Telstra signal, at least here in Australia. If you're parked deep on the ground and you drive the car out, you might, it might not update immediately, but yeah, just something to be aware of. Okay. And the three, three most common questions are, first of all, how do I install this? Well, that's very simple because I've already made a video to, that covers how to install this. Um, I'll leave a link in the description of this particular video so you can just find it and watch that. Um, any questions, post a comment. Um, the next question I get asked often is, does this include any ADAS changes? So ADAS, if viewers don't know, is short for Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. Basically, this is your automatic emergency braking, this is your adaptive cruise control, this is your lane keep assist, which BID calls intelligent cruise control, this is your lane departure warning, this is your blind spot monitoring, all that. So, as we all know, um, when BID SEAL first came out, they had software version 13.1.33.2309 or 2307, I believe. Um, ADAS was pretty shit, wasn't it? So, lane keep assist was very sensitive, there was a lot of bings and a lot of bongs, it was very annoying. Um, that was fixed in version 2401, so the one that came before this. Um, now, of course, people are, are understandably concerned that, you know, if they installed this 2403 update, would it mess with the, with ADAS updates that came with 2401? And the answer is no, with a caveat. So it doesn't matter when you upgrade or downgrade, um, the ADAS software is locked behind a encrypted, I guess, a layer of encryption. Um, where the, the end user, like yourself and myself, um, we, we can't access it. Basically, like there's 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 nothing we can do. Well, there there are some incredibly complex things we can do to access it, but I'm obviously not going to go into that, and most people would know about it. So let's just pretend that you can't access it. Um, so when you upgrade or downgrade using a file, such as the ones in my iCloud share, what you're effectively doing is changing the Android software version instead. So we're talking like wireless CarPlay, we're talking reduced speeding and bonging, and we're talking vehicle tracking, which is all done through an APK on, on the car itself. Um, however, some people have reported that when they downgraded, say from 2401 to 2307, to sideload apps, um, they have reported that when they did downgrade to 2307, that the car produced more binging and bonging sounds, beeping sounds. Now. I'll try to provide an explanation for this, but it might not make sense. So, even though I said, you know, ADAS itself, the operation of it, of, of ADAS doesn't change because it's not accessible to us, um, what can be changed is the sensitivity to the parameters of ADAS. So, for example, let's say lane, lane departure warning, right? So, let's say um, it's been, like, the an actual OTA has tuned it to be less sensitive. And then you go ahead and downgrade your Android to say 2307. Now, lane departure warning, as we all know, is operated by the camera mounted high up on the windscreen. So if if that um, if that camera is producing readings, and Android itself uh, interprets those readings in a different way to which the ADAS 
hardware component itself is communicating with the steering wheel to make adjustments, um, that's where the mismatch in understanding is. So basically when you downgrade your Android version to 2307, um, Android itself is what is generating those beeping sounds. The beeping sounds are actually not generated by the ADAS hardware or software. It's generated by the Android interpretation of the signals coming out of the ADAS hardware, if that makes sense. So even though the lane departure warning is technically fixed, the binging and bogging has now gone back to the old standard. So it's 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 kind of like the... I'm not really sure how to explain this, but it's kind of like when the environment has gone backwards but the things in the environment has stayed the same if that makes sense so um, you may find that yeah there's more being and bonging it could be a bit annoying but rest assured that your you know lane keep assist the actual adaptive cruise smoothness or whatever else might not not might like will not have changed um, and honestly if you do find that it has changed uh, I would encourage you to leave a comment so we can investigate it some more but that's basically what I've what I have observed through BYD Dolphin, Seal and Ado3 owners in the last about two years Lastly, well, probably should mention this first, how do you find the file? Well, perfect, because in this video description, there is a paste bin link. Um, in there, there is a, inside, inside the paste bin link, there is 10 iCloud share links. And if you click on them, uh, you'll need to sign into Apple ID. If you don't have one, please make one, it's free. Um, I choose to host this on Apple ID, uh, on, on iCloud, sorry, because it's uh, economically viable for me. Um, Apple ID is free to make, so please make it. You can access it from your phone, from Android, from Windows. It's relatively easy. Uh, yeah, um, you can choose one, one to ten. Uh, so basically, the contents in each folder here are the same. I've just chosen to make more than one because each folder has a good access limit of like fifty or seventy-five users or something. So that's why I've made ten. Um, and yeah, I must stress that this is a BYD Seal software update. Okay, it's a seal software update. This doesn't work for BYD Adder 3, it doesn't work for Dolphin, and it certainly doesn't work for... Oh, no, that's about it. We only have the three models in Australia, so... Um, if, you, if you're in Europe, you'll probably get this soon. If you're in South America, you'll probably already have this. But yeah, this is a BYD seal software update, 13.1.23.2403. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. See you next time.